that's right. Calling out a lot of people today. A lot of people. Probably the hardest ones that have the hardest time dealing with this one is going to be, I'm guessing it's going to be probably Brian Burchek, Kevin McCurley, Dave Kaufman. That would probably be the toughest, toughest ones, toughest, toughest ones. <sighs> okay. Um, if this is your first time to the channel, three times a week, we put out videos. Two of them are beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. One of them is uncut. Speaking of uncut, that's not me. I got a fresh haircut. You guys like it? People were like, yeah, you should cut it. You should cut it. And I was like, yeah, I think I should too. Um, before, oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot my thing way over there. What I like to do on these uncut videos to start them out all the time is open up any mail that people have sent us. And I have one thing sitting over there. <laughs> Damn uncut videos. Uh, uh, at least it wasn't too far away. All right, let's get this open. Then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of this video. One sec, here we go, here we go. This is from Rodent Nightmare Morphs. Oh, yes, yes, I remember you sending me a thing about the design. I still need to get some of these shiny stickers up in my thing. That's, I need that. There you go, that's the county. Rodent Nightmare Morphs. Thank you for taking the time to help me motivate and support. You're welcome. I'm hoping to do the same thing in this video. Motivate, support. Okay, so, <sighs> I, I was just taking, I literally just had this idea. I was just taking a shower, I got my fresh cut, and then I saw this post from Miguel over at Always, Always Evolving Pythons right here that showed him looking like that, and then the aftermath. And while I was in the shower, literally five minutes ago, I was thinking, this, this could be potentially a great idea. So... And it's a tough time to do it. Basically, this, this is what I'm calling everybody out there. This is a hope that we can all come together in this, do something fun, just support togetherness, and do something that will benefit lots of people, including U.S. Arc, who is obviously constantly fighting for and against, <laughs> for and against. Man, I, <laughs> these are the first words I'm speaking out loud today, so forgive me. I'm sorry. Why is my phone ringing? Tim, you are live on an uncut video. Uh, do you care? You care to? Do you care to share what you have about the uh, the things going on in Florida and what's? I mean, just just give me like thirty seconds if you. Or you don't have to. I'll call you back. Our rights are being intruded upon, and it's not fair to anyone. And unfortunately, it's just the tip of the iceberg. And the way that things are happening, no one is safe. No animals are safe. If, if you think that you have, a, you know, something small, you know, something that you think, you know, if you're a bull python breeder, if you're a corn snake breeder and you think, ah, oh, you know, my snakes are safe, they're not going to come after me, they are going after everything. And the way that they're going about it is completely against what our country is about. And it's not only people's livelihoods but also people's beloved pets. And we need to start getting together and stop saying, oh, this is about the big snake guys, or this is about those guys, or those guys. We need to start coming together and saying, this is about us, this is for us. And we need to participate. Everybody, every single person needs to get involved, needs to participate, needs to be educated, and pull together. 
I well, that for a little impromptu. That was that was the <laughs> people are probably going to think I planted you calling me right now because I, I just happened to be recording this video at this moment that you called. But uh, no, I think that was perfectly well said. And um, I'm going to finish this video and and what I was going to do, and I'll call you back in like ten minutes. Is that cool? You got it. All right, thanks, Tim. Be good, everybody. Be safe. Later. Totally unplanned, but very perfect. And that was like the timing couldn't have been better. So the goal of what I'm about to propose here is to kind of just benefit and help out what Tim's talking about, obviously helping us arc to, you know, and keep them funded so that they can do what they do best, which is try to keep the legislation at bay that is trying to essentially end the keeping of reptiles. You know, that's, that's the end goal of the, of what us arc is fighting against is, is that potential reality. Now, the reason that I think Dave Kaufman, Brian Barczyk, and Kevin McCurley, and, and some other folks out there, I'm always going to be leaving people out. I, I, I don't mean to, it just happen. My brain is only so good at holding information and spitting it back out. But they all have long hair. And so my idea that I had in the shower was, hey, what if we do a challenge, everybody shave their heads to start from scratch. I know it's easier for me. I already cut off my long hair. Well, it took me a year before I decided to cut that stuff off, honestly, before I finally made the decision. And now I do not want long hair ever again. I don't. I really, like, I'm, ever since I cut it, I was like, it's just gone. It's so great. I don't want it back. However, I'm willing to participate in a challenge. And I'm calling out some people specifically here, too, not just those three. Uh, Miguel Garcia, always evolving pythons for making me even think of it. Uh, Justin Kubelka, because I don't know if he's ever had long hair. Maybe he has. And if he hasn't, I think it would be funny. Garrett Hartle. Uh, Jimmy Cruz, I think, might be the most hilarious long-haired person, especially if it's just going to come out the sides. But I'm calling out everybody, anybody, who wants to join in this little idea that I just had in my shower five minutes ago, that we all shave our heads on a given date and grow our hair as long as we can possibly stand it. And every time somebody decides it's time to cut it off, they donate a certain amount of money, whether it's $100, whether it's $500, and put it all to U.S. ARC as soon as everybody taps out. And also, hopefully, they've grown it long enough at that point where they have to, uh, you know, <laughs> or not have to, but where they can, like, donate it to another charity that benefits from people donating their hair. I feel like that's a great idea. I mean, I just had it in the shower. That's why I like to think I come up with some pretty good ideas. Leave a comment down below. Do you think this is a great idea? I think it's a great idea. Share this video with anybody who you think would be willing to participate in such a ridiculous thing, which it is ridiculous because it's the beginning of summer almost, and this is the worst time to start growing out your hair. Like, the worst time. If there's any time of year to grow out your hair, this is not it. But I think it would, A drive a bunch of togetherness, get people like together on the same challenge without really in impacting anything other than your looks and your appearance, which, I mean, you know, we, we put so much stock in that, and I don't think we need to put as much stock in it as we do. However, we do. And then it would just be hilarious to see how many people, and it could take for a long time, too. This could be something that, like, keeps going for a while because of how long it takes to grow your hair. I mean, to get it down to the point where I might, cut a substantial amount, you know, maybe a couple years of talking here. And in the meantime, you know, it'll just drive this idea of everybody doing something together, struggling together, potentially. It's going to be a struggle for me. I don't want to grow my hair again. Like I said, I don't want to do it. Don't. I'm sure Dave and Brian and Kevin don't want to cut their hair off and start from scratch. They, they may not do it. I don't know. It's just an idea. It's my idea. I'm proposing it right here, right now. Share this video with everybody you think would want to participate Let's do it. Let's let's drive it together. Let's get it together and let's just be ridiculous, but also have an underlying goal of doing something really, really good for everybody in the hobby. I think it's I think it's a great idea. I think it's the best call out video I've ever done yet to date. Not that I do a bunch of them, but anyway, aloha. Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Smack the like button, share this video with everybody that you think this would be a great idea for. And we'll do an update next week and see who's on board and who tapped out. All right. Guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you on Saturday with part three of Ball Python Life. Aloha. <laughs>